can't stop me like a red and white octagon Step into the ring, I knock you out before the clock is on Ain't going nowhere like the slave ship of Amistad I have you back, pedaling the brake fast like Ramadan I'm setting down spike strips to blow your tires off It's best you get a grip, cause you tripping like an autobahn This is my empire, not talking about the lion's wolf The lyrical reincarnation of Genghis Khan When they perform, the whole crowd turns desolate I'm trying to pack venues from Oregon to Connecticut In the house of hip-hop, I'm a permanent resident these wannabes need to get evicted for embezzlement It's prevalent that my rhetoric sounds arrogant But if you're hesitant to accept it, you're an embarrassment Sometimes I wonder if it's all just an experiment My doctor told me you should probably see a therapist Ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the 6th Seventh, excuse me, seventh episode. My goodness gracious, what am I thinking here? Ladies and gentlemen, Pro Wrestling Summit. You see it right above you. We are live 10 p.m. every Friday night. And boys and girls, we got some merch, baby. Pro Wrestling Summit t-shirts. Get them on our hat. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash WrestleCast. And wrestling is what we do best here. And boy, oh boy. Do we have 10 fantastic matchups for you this fine evening? Our main event, as we all know, next Friday night, Walter will make a title defense against one Kazuchika Okada. Also, just announced, as all five titles will be on the line, the Young Bucks will be defending... The Tag Team Championships against Daisuke Sakamoto and Yuji Okabayashi. Which means tonight, in our main event, Kazuchika Okada, the Rainmaker himself, will be tagging with the Young Bucks to take on all three members of Strong BJ, Walter, Daisuke Sakamoto, Yuji Okabayashi. Going to be an incredible contest, setting up those two big matches next Friday night. <laughs> Three more in the hospital. Uh, also, in our semi main event, Brian Danielson coming into the ring. He is going to take on Aita. Uh, we also have KZ, who decided he wants to continue to defend that title. He'll be taking on Yusuke Okada from Violent Giants for the Junior Heavyweight Championships Championship. Uh, Katsuka Nakajima, who has come back from injury, taking on Ben K from the Dragon Gate Unit, who's trying to get some wins under his belt. Also, Yankee 2 Kenju, Yankee 2 Pistols, whatever you want to call them, Asami Kodaka and Yuko Miyamoto will be defending the junior tag team titles against the Rattels again. As we know, last week in the in the the finals, if you will, to crown our first champions, they defeated the Rattels. That was Yohei and Hayata. Tonight, Tadasuke and Daisuke Harada have asked for a championship opportunity. They're getting it. That'll be coming up tonight. We also have Kento Miyahara. Coming up against Big R Shimizu, another member of Real Extreme Diffusion. As we saw last week, he lost to Kazuma Sakamoto on the losing end, having that trouble. Miyahara trying to get back on the winning track, going back against Real Extreme Diffusion. Also, last week, Suwama defeated Naoya Nomura. Um, as now, the other one of the other members of Jin, Jiro Aikman Kuroshio, will take on the other member of the Violent Giants, Shuji Ishikawa, as well. Setting up next week, we will have... Jiro Aikman Kuroshio, Nelly Nomura against the Violent Giants tag team action on our Giant show. And also, next week, the Stronghearts, even though they lost uh, to Strong BJ last week, Strong BJ has decided they want to go for the tag titles. And with the great effort that Stronghearts put in, they are getting the first shot at the Undisputed Era. Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, Machine Gun Carl Anderson, and their six-man tag team championships. For that reason, tonight, Machine Gun Carl Anderson will take on the MVP of that six-man last week, Al Lindemann. Shima, leading his unit, will take on the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole. And as you can see, our opening contest tonight that we're going to get right into, the other match in this little six-man tag setup is T-Hawk. Taking on Roderick Strong as we are going to go to the ring for this one. Tag City, I love it. That's what we need here. Stream on point this week so far. Think we fixed our issues as we see T Hawk coming out tonight, ready to go against the Undisputed Era. If. <laughs> yeah, I got your shirt. It's in the bag right there, Cook. 
Summit! Jordan, yours is on the way. Yours is on the way. Uh, T-Hawk trying to get the leg up here once again. Three matches. Super C, yes. Thank you. Thank you for that. I appreciate it. Pro Wrestling Summit six-man tag team champion Roderick Strong coming out right now. Whichever team gets the two wins in this series, two or three wins, whoever basically Fight. wins this two out of three, they will get to pick the stipulation. Whatever they want next week. Tornado tag, elimination, tornado elimination, over the top. Anything you've already seen in Pro Wrestling Summit. So they lined him up. Shima wanted Adam Cole, obviously. The two leaders set up. T-Hawk wanted to be in the opener. He wanted to set the tone. They threw Roddy at him, which left Machine Gun and, and L. Lindemann. Lindemann said, if I can take a beating from all three violent giants, there ain't nothing you can do to me, Carl Anderson. And obviously, we know there was only one thing that the Machine Gun did. He did that, baby. <laughs> I, always, I always wanted to do that. Just like I always wanted to do, hey, guys, North Village. Oh, my God. We all know you do not want to do any sort of slap chop with, with T-Hawk. Um, <laughs> this man, graduate from the Dragon Gate Dojo, uh, prodigy to Shima, and he hits harder than most men could imagine. Last week, we saw he was going... Let me see the shirt. You want to see... Well, here's, here's mine. There's mine, sir. Pro Wrestling Summit. Do you want me to take yours out of the bag, Demtris? Oh, stun gun by T Hawk. I can, I can, I can take yours out of the bag and put it up if you'd like me to. <laughs> uh, also, shout out! I got myself an astronaut shirt. Fubinori Abe and Sakuya Nomura, Big Japan, awesome. Kyoto, our referee for the evening. Uh, once again, this is the seventh week of Pro Wrestling Summit. We thank everybody for for continuously coming through. <laughs> shout out to uh, shout out to uh, Wes Castle, the newest referee in the business. You haven't heard of yet. Just saying, just saying. Wink, throwing that wink there. <laughs> um, it's it's gonna be a good show, guys, and I cannot wait. Next week, once again, it is going to be another super card. I know we we just had our finals, but uh, oh. but next week, all five titles on the line. Half of our show will be title matches. T-Hawk with a sick DDT on Roderick Strong. Um, and then we're going to start our, our ranking system. I've talked about these rankings for a while. After we, we finalize everything with next week's show, we will be setting up our ranking system. We're going to get we're gonna get play-ins, round robins, things like that. A lot, of, a lot of ways to really crown who should be given the best opportunity to get a title shot. T-Hawk, we're going to have Hammy there on Roderick Strong. I, every time I say Roderick Strong, I, I always want to think of the, the Ring of Honor when he's like, Roderick Strong! Don't don't know why. T-Hawk, go behind. He's going to get him up. Oh, my God. A huge sit-out face buster. That was more of an elevated flapjack. T-Hawk to the top. Now coming up big, high cross body. Just landing a shoulder block instead. Roderick Strong is getting stopped on right here. Roderick Strong's awesome. Are you kidding me? Roderick Strong might be the one of the best bell-to-bell -bell workers in the world. Big back elbow to T-Hawk right there. T-Hawk now getting him on his shoulder. He's going to elevate him. Huge! Go to sleep right in the chest. Picks him back up. He's going behind now. Back elbow by Roderick Strong. Strong going for a leg grapevine. Misses it. T-Hawk, though, going to get caught with a back elbow to the back and a big elbow. Or, excuse me, legs after the back of the head. T-Hawk, though, picking him up. He's got him up for a fell uh, big razor's edge. The advantages. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, joke. Boy. Joke. joke uh. Yeah, yeah. I apologize. I apologize. <laughs> uh, hopefully, it's not bad, as bad as the BCS. We'll have to get that settled out. Uh, Roderick Strong shot in the rope there. T Hawk. Big pack body drop. Roderick Strong getting pulled back to the center. J er, Roderick Strong bad even. Yep, don't get it. I apologize. Big leg grapevine there. T-Hawk's going to be in the rope. Kyoto's going to break that up, though. It's not going to fly. T-Hawk is going to drag Roderick Strong more towards the center now. Shoots Roddy off the rope. Comes in with a big power slam. T-Hawk's going to pick him back up. Strong bad. Who's strong bad? 
ball kicked to the leg. Runner strong now. Go behind T-Hawk. He's going to pick him back up. He's he's going to go for an... Oh, my God. He just went for a fallen... A, uh, a one-wing angel. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. So it's... Take note of this, at the nine minute mark, 9.15, Kenny Omega may have been just put on blast by T-Hawk. I cannot confirm or deny, but that was not expected. Vertical suplex by T-Hawk, down goes Roderick Strong. 10 minutes into our open contest and a drop to hold by Roddy. He's gonna get him in a huge waist lock. German suplex killed in place, only a one count though. Crowd on their feet here, ladies and gentlemen. T-Hawk. Gonna get him with a reverse suplex, and he is in control of Roderick Strong right now. He is on Dream Street. T-Hawk just staring at him. Roddy, though, gonna get the upper hand here, shooting him into the buckle. Big kick to the midsection, second. Works the boot in the throat now. T-Hawk trying to get out of it. Drags him more to the center now. Stop to the midsection. Roderick counters the Irish whip. Working it back in the corner, and he's going to work those boots there. He is trying to wear him down. Yeah, he's got to break this up here. Kyoto's letting him go a little bit too much here. I agree. Working the hammy now, but Roderick is starting. There was that chop by T-Hawk. <laughs> Big Falcon Arrow down. He goes one, two. Oh, shoulder is up. Another reverse suplex. It was only to the shoulder was up. <laughs> Another reverse suplex. He is working, Roddy. The crowd is on their feet, approaching the 13 minute mark. Strong trying to get away for it. He's got him up in a torch rack now. Give up. Give He's up. got him in a torch rack. He it in Give place. Up. Oh, and a backbreaker to stop it. Big chop, kick to the midsection. A chop, another kick. Chop again, more kicks. Back and forth, T-Hawk with a shoulder block. Down goes Ryder, but he's going to hit a spinning back fist. Rolls him over now onto his stomach. Picks him back up, went for the hide, but T-Hawk getting out of the way there. T-Hawk throwing the goal behind him, his own, and another reverse suplex. He is trying to wear down Roderick Strong here. Both men are tired. Crowd is on their feet here. Big body slam by T-Hawk now. He's going to drag Roddy to the center. He's going to pick him back up. Go behind. Back elbow by Roderick Strong. Big kick to the hip. Drops him. And he's got him in a stronghold. Give up. in place. T-Hawk. T-Hawk. Not going to give up, though. Break. Roll through. Crowd is on their feet. 15-minute mark. Body slam by T-Hawk here. T-Hawk's going to pick Roddy up. He's going to go behind again. Back elbow. Roderick Strong counters and kick to the face. And he is getting the crowd on their feet, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Hell of an opener. Another torture rack. Give up. Give up. Give up. Ah, backbreaker. Tioch wasn't budging. Roddy wasn't wasting his time. Huge leg hook. Brain buster. Both men are down. Kick to the back of the head. Big backbreaker again by Roderick Strong here. Yeah, he's got it. He's not tapping, though. Not that T-Hawk needs what Ronnie is doing. Whatever he needs, the elevating talent, making stars. Whoa. Sunset flip only gets a two. Misses the forearm. Go behind here. Back up to the head. Can you guys hear this crowd? <laughs> Roll through now. He's got the rope. He's got the rope. You know, he's going to break that one up. This building is erupting, and we still got nine more to go, folks. Hell of an opener. Another go to sleep in the chest. T-Hawk is trying to get some air back. But Robert Strong's going to get him up and give him a good buster of his own back and forth action tonight. Roderick now with a stop to the chest. He's going to soccer kick him in the back. T-Hawk's going to get up, though. He ain't having that. Shot to the chest now. Irish whip. Roderick Strong runs into the buckle. He tried to hit the rope and completely took himself out. But T-Hawk is dazed in the corner as well. Both men are not fighting. T-Hawk goes for a chop. Big four of three of them now by Roderick Strong. Strong's going to bring uh, T-Hawk to the center of the ring there. He's going to shoot off the rope. Here comes Roderick. Bigs. 
I don't know why I can't remember what the damn calf kick to the back of the head. And that's going to do it. He is going to tap. And he gave a backbreaker for no reason. Voice is not dead. I got. I had a brain fart and got stuck on stupid. I was going to call it a spin wheel kick, but it was a calf kick. And then all I could do is picture myself doing the move, and I forgot what the move is called. Demptress, I've hit you with many of many of those calf kicks. I don't know why I couldn't think of it. 100% match rating, torture rack. He's going to tap an insult to injury, throws the backbreaker. The undisputed era is on one to nothing. I am a heel. I apologize. But at least I calf kicked you with love, man. <laughs> We're going right back into this ring here. Shuji Shikawa. Jiro Eichemann Kuroshio. Demptress, I still love in the in the music video Mercer made. There's like three times I, I calf kick you in that music video in like three different matches. <laughs> Here comes Ishikawa. One half of the Violent Giants. I was talking about Roddy with the douche backbreaker. <laughs> yeah, it was. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, you always called me a heel, so I, I I assumed, you know, as a heel, I assumed it was about me. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash WrestleCans. Get yourself a summer shirt. And here comes Eichmann, one of the members of Jin, coming in. Last week, as I said, Suwama defeated. Su, uh, Suwama defeated Naomi Nomura. Eichmann now coming in here, trying to get the win back for Jin. Take it on the other member of the Violent Giants Fight. next week. Violent Giants against Eichmann and Nomura. And Shuji Shikawa has already gone for a headbutt and a forearm and a test of strength. And Eichmann's going to drop to hold him out of it. <laughs> Another one. Ishikawa's going to work him down, though. He's going to club in the back of the head. I don't know why Eichmann thought it was a good idea to go back to it. Oh my gosh. Here comes more clubs. And he's already trying to rip that arm off. Stops there. Big back elbow covered up by Ishikawa. Arm ringer. And he's going to shoot the throwers in there. Looks clean. Big back elbow by Jiro Eichmann now. He's going to put him in the buckle there. Ishikawa, though, that's not the right guy. This could be trying to do something. And he's got him in a clover leaf already. Eichmann. Okay, he got out of that quick. That's that's a guy that you do not want to have sitting on your back with you elevated. Big hip toss by Eichmann. Hey! Trying to put you in a Texas cold. Like big drop kick to the face of, of Shuji Ishikawa. Ishikawa now, big suplex. Out of the ring is going to go Eichmann. And Shuji's following. Two, three, Huge four, double axe handle on the back five. there. Ishikawa, he's going to miss the drop kick. Why was he going for it? Can't it dry? <laughs> They're both going to get a ring at the same time. You say you want a piece of Jeff Hart. Uh, Elijah, I apologize. There will not be any eat shit tonight as the gorillas of destiny were not booked. Even though they got a win last week. Roll through Fujiwara. Or Kimura Lock, excuse me. Ishikawa now stocking Eichmann, who's going to hit him with a back elbow. Eichmann, roll through into a camel clutch. A little fancy there. I do not bite people's faces up. I do. I pokes. Big punch to the face there by Karoshio. He's dragging Ishikawa out. Now, this is something where if I'm Eichmann, I'm trying to keep my distance with these attacks because you're getting a little too close to a guy like Shinji Ishikawa who just threw another elbow and another shoulder block. We want the Canada yeah. Warrior. <laughs> Jeff Hart has been a request on this channel where maybe one day we will see Jeff Hart in a Pro Wrestling Summit ring. Oh, Ishikawa. Oh, they're going back and forth here. Forearm, slap, forearm. Slap again. Down goes Ishikawa. Look at Eichmann. He's on top. Huge Swanton bomb. Ishikawa's going to be in the wrong spot where you can't pin him. He's going to go over that Super yeah. Delphin pin, though. Kiona won. Only a one count. I commit it. I don't think Ishikawa like that. Argentine backbreaker now. Give up. Oh, my God. He just drops him. Picks him up now. Huge island driver. Down goes Jiro. 
And they're in a bad spot if you try to get a pin. They got to get out of that corner. Ishikawa's going to go for it. He's going to get positioning, too. He got over a two count. Okay. Crowd's starting to get live here. Big choke slam by Ishikawa, and he is going upstairs. He waits for Eichmann to get up. Big Lariat. Oh, my God. Down goes Kuroshio. Ishikawa's going to pick him up now. Waist lock. What a big drop kick to get out of it by Eichmann. He's going to go for that Super Delphin pin. One. Only a one count. Ishikawa's not having it. No is right when you see someone like that going upstairs. Eichmann now. It's going to get picked up. Ishikawa. Oh, he's going to come out with a DDT. And Eichmann continues to try to make this work. Knee lift there on Ishikawa. He's going to shoot a left rope. Come up with another one. They're going to run into each other. No man is down. I can even get into positioning here, trying to stay away, shooting Ishikawa. Big back elbow, and he's going to show up again, folks. And he's going to come for this pin again, and it's not going to work. Not even a one count. Ishikawa's going to pick up Eichmann. Big headbutt to the back of the head. Now Eichmann is going to get dumped to the floor here, just approaching nine minutes. And Shuji Ishikawa is starting to gas. Maybe this is Eichmann's plan. Arm with some nice shoulder thrust there. He's going to shoot Eichmann into the, into the gate. He's in first. Kuroshio's going to follow. Jiro with the back elbow to the head now. He's going to put him in an arm bar. They're in the rope. Oh, no, they're not. Kyoto's going to let it go. I don't think it's going to be enough on Ash uh, Ishikawa, though. I am the ultimate Canadian. Canadian. And Jiro with a Bronco. Yay! Jiro Eichmann Kuroshio and his unorthodox offense. He's going to schoolboy him. One. Two, only a two count. Ishikawa is going to get that shoulder. Ishikawa, oh my God. If he knee lifted me that hard, I would poop my pants. Ishikawa now. He's going to pick him up with an oh, pack. Gets through Ishikawa. Gets rolled up, but he's in the rope. Ishikawa is going to get up first. He's bringing up Eichmann. Step up in the girl, though, by Kuroshio. <laughs> I'm the beast from the east. Give up. Give up. <laughs> he's got him in an arm bar here. If it's not Jeff Hart, he might not have got the best. Another island driver by Shuji Ishikawa. Both men are down and the crowd is rising. Eichmann's up first, but he is on Dream Street. Dragon suplex. Eichmann's back up, though. And he's smiling. Roll through armbar. Kyoto's in place. Up. I don't think Ishikawa's going to give it up, though. Give up. Nope, he's going to get out of it. Bam, 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 bam. Thunder lips, oh goodness. Into the buckle goes Kuroshio. He's gonna reverse and get Ike, uh, Eichmann though, he's gonna eat a form. He's gonna shoot Ishikawa back in. The crowd is alive, folks. They're on their feet, but Ishikawa's gonna pick him up. And he is gonna get a huge splash mountain. Kyoto, one, two, three. Oh, only a two count, Eichmann's up. Eichmann's up first, he's dragging him up. Look at the crowd, folks, they're on their feet. Somehow he's got a cover. Only a two, though. Ishikawa might have got hurt. He's going to pick him back up, and he's going to get another splash mountain there. But he's in the rope. Kyoto is not counting it. Four him to the face. Chop off. Here we go. Back and forth action. Ishikawa and Eichmann. Headbutt. Eichmann. Super kick. And both men are down, folks. Eichmann's back up, though. He's picking up Shuji Ishikawa. Ishikawa's going to hit another headbutt. And Jiro Eichmann Kuroshio is on Dream Street. We're at the 14-minute mark right now, folks. And this action is picking up. Big boot by Ishikawa. Eichmann, though, is going to hit a seated tombstone. He's got to cover it. One, two, only through count. Ishikawa's up first. Jump to hit that heart, man. He's the beast, you son of a bitch. Damn, he is so gassed he got pinned. Yeah, yeah. Dragon suplex again and down goes Eichmann, folks. We are. He's going to work that leg. 15 minute mark. The crowd is on fire. He's going to go back to that arm. Big arm runner. He's trying to stop him from lifting him up for that splash mountain. Roll through cover. One, two, flash pin. Oh, Ishikawa is up. Misses the headbutt here. But Ishikawa is center of the ring. Splash mountain. This is not good. This might do it, folks. One, two, Three, and that's it. Shuji Shikawa with the victory. Jiro Eichmann Kuroshio gave it everything he had. But it's not enough. You go, but not alone.
hell of a good match there. Shuji Shikawa. Yeah, no, no joke, Demtris. Put it in the air if you got one for that match. Man, that was fantastic. Two great shows starting us off here tonight. Next up, we're coming in here. We are having the story of all stories as arguably uh, Shuji Shikawa won with the Splash Mountain. 2019 Wrestler of the Year, according to myself, WrestleCast Radio's own Ryan Cook. Kenzo Miyahara cannot buy a win. Last week, losing to Kazuma Sakamoto from the Real Extreme Diffusion. This week, he said he wants another opportunity. He's getting big R Shimizu from Red. Let's see if he can break that losing way. Because here comes big R Shimizu. And we all know that that shot put slam. Tetris, he needs that help, man. He needs that kid, though. Great. I'm going to help him. I'm going to help. Fight. Ladies and gentlemen, we're about to get real bias in this piece. We have my autographed Kenzo Miyaharo. Miyahara towel. Oh, the green screen's tearing it up. Autographed Kenzo Miyahara towel that I got at Cork and Hall. When I met when I met Kenzo Miyahara, folks, your commentator is getting a little biased because his boy, his boy needs a dub and he cannot get one, folks, ladies and gentlemen. Kenzo Miyahara, arguably the best wrestler in the world, comes into the Pro Wrestling Summit, and he did not realize the amount of competition he was going to be facing because he is struggling against this roster. Big R Shimizu. Representing Real Extreme Diffusion is so tough. And this is not by any means another cakewalk match. This is another guy who's going to come in there and potentially going to stop. It's just on there with a the back suplex. Stop Kenzo Miyahara from getting a victory. Kenzo has got to figure it out because it's not working. And sooner than later, if you're going to keep losing, you got to make your way out for other people to make their way into the summit. And if Kenzo Miyahara is the first guy that doesn't get a con or gets his contract revoked, that's going to be something that nobody would have ever called. I can tell you that much. Big R with a nice headlock on a right hand. Drops the knee to the back of the head now. Kenzo Miyahara's got him. I don't know what it is with his... Oh, big front drop kick there. Down goes Big R Shimizu. Kenzo Miyahara's going to shoot Big R Shimizu off the rope. Big breakout knee there. Blackout knee to the face. Cover. Not even a one count. Big R. Get that shoulder up. You got to watch out for that shot put slam. He is the muscle of real extreme ah. diffusion. He's a bad dude. Look at him. I say the word muscle and he flexes. He's got Kenzo Miyahara. Waist lock. Counter. Big rollback. Cover. Kyoto's in place. Not even a one count for Miyahara. Big R. Shimizu now with the right hand. Big elbow or knee to the back of the head. Excuse me on Kenzo Miyahara. Miyahara with the Northern Lights. Kyoto, one. Only a one count. Big R Shimizu now. Big DDT by Kento Miyahara. And the Breakheart's going for another cover here. Only going to get a one count, though. Big R is not ready to go home that quick. And he also doesn't want to be the guy who loses. Shot, forearm. Another shot. Forearm by Miyahara. And down goes Big R. Miyahara's going to head upstairs here. And he's going to go for a big knee. He's going to miss. Big R, this might be his opportunity. Big up kick, though, by Kenzo Miyahara as he was about to get dragged out of that uh, spot by the rope there. Big form to the face on Big R Shimizu now. Stomp to the head, kick to the hamstring, and here's Kenzo Miyahara. He's starting to systematically break down Big R, but he's just going to pick him up into a torture act. That's how you stop that, right? <laughs> and a backbreaker. Miyahara now trying to circle and get some space. He's going to hit another lens. Kyoto in place. A one, two, only a two count though. Crowd appreciates it. Big German suplex release. And another kick to the hamstring. Cover one. Miyahara with his goofy face pose. Ah, he's lucky Kyohei Wan is not in there ripping his head off. <coughs> Excuse me. 
The torch rack, yeah. Rack City, bitch. Big suplex by Kento. Kento now he's pulling Big R out of the corner there. He's going to pick him up. Coming off the rope here. Another blackout knee. Yes, it is. Miyahara trying to get this momentum back. But Big R's going to hit another follow-away slam. And he's going to flex again. Of course he is. Real Extreme Diffusion are some of the biggest sons of bitches I've ever seen. And they just try to get away with everything. I mean, Ata, I, I bet you when he faces Daniel Bryan tonight, we're going to see mist. We're going to see nut shots. You know what that guy's all about. These guys are scumbags. And another torch rack, and you know what? Oh, he's in a row. He's going to backbreak him again. They're so dirty. Miyahara, big vertical suplex. Kenton, I was going to pick him up. Misses the kick, misses the chop. Shooting him off the buckle. They're going to collide. Yes, they are, but Big R is going to go down from it. That is shocking, folks. Hmm. Miyahara now. Shut down, German. That's going to do it. He, oh, he's in the rope. Oh, that is that would have done it. Oh, he's going to put him in a Boston Crab. Miyahara, though, is going to get to the rope. Kyoto's going to break that one up. And Shimizu with a suplex to the floor goes Kento. Shimizu not chasing. He's trying to get some win back. Kento doing the same. We're almost to the 10 minute mark of this contest. Big elbow one of the back there. Stomp as well to the kidneys. Big R is going to pick him up. Back elbow Kento's going to come to that waist lock. And he's going to get him in a huge butterfly face buster. That was pretty. Pulling him over now. He's going to pick him up. Going with a waist lock. He's got that shut down German, but he's going to be in the rope, I think, again. That's twice now. He had an opportunity to win Big R with his positioning. Suplex countered. Got him over that side is Kento Miyahara. Kento Miyahara is finally starting to build some momentum in this match. Something we have not seen him do in a long time in the summit. Kento a little bit gassed there. He's going to shoot him off the rope. Now back elbow. Down goes Shimizu. And he is calling for them Kento chance. The Kento. Miyahara is going to work that hamstring now. He's going to circle Shimizu. Big Bulldog. That was the opportunity to do the shutdown German, I would have thought. But he doesn't go for it. But he's going to do it here. Kyoto's in place. This is going to do it. One, two, three. And that's it. Big R Shimizu is no match for the shutdown German suplex. Kenzo. Miyahara. I am not biased, I swear. I swear. <laughs> Kenzo Miyahara shut down German defeats Big R Shimizu. That's a dope ass autograph uh scarf, you know what I'm saying? Here comes our second matchup, ladies and gentlemen, in our six man tag setup for next week. Sorry, checking something out about the... the uh, Miyahara will always be at the top. Well, hey, he needs to. He needs to be. Kento Miyahara, man, I'm telling you. He, I think he's the best wrestler in the world. Oh, my God. Last week, we got Kento Miyahara, Shotaro Ishido, and All Japan. Oh, All Japan show tomorrow. I cannot wait for that show. Oh, it's probably starting in a couple hours, actually. Here comes Shima on his way to the ring. And for all you All Japan heads, uh, it is uh, Enfance Terribles taking on uh, Purple Haze. Zeus and Izanagi against Kuma Arashi and Shikaro Oshino. Fantastic. Here comes Adam Cole now to the ring. We saw earlier Roderick Strong made short work of T-Hawk. So the Undisputed Era is up 1-0 here. Shima needs to get the victory in this leader versus leader contest here. Because after this, we have, we have one more match in this series. So they got to get this. If they don't, Undisputed Era is getting that victory of uh, whatever kind of match they want to have. So let's see what goes down here tonight. But Shima is going to circle with, with Adam Cole. Shima took a little bit late to get started here in the Summit. But we finally got him booked. He came in, got an impressive victory in his debut. Looking to capitalize once again off of that. Rated a, a couple unfortunate uh, situations here in the last couple weeks uh, in the, the the revolving door that is the strong BJ team. But they're back trying to get rolling here. They got this opportunity for the six-man tag titles next week because of, once again, their hard work ethic and how close they were to beating that great team that has their heavyweight champion in it. The Undisputed Era does not like that. Yeah. 
we all know that they would like to never defend if they don't have to and just ride those titles out as long as they can. So, it's going to be interesting to see what happens next week. Shima with a nice chop there to Adam Cole. Adam Cole, body slam, out of the ring goes Shima. Adam Cole, baby, as you will. Back and forth, musical chairs on the ropes here. Shima finally got sick of waiting for it. He's going to hang out. Cole, big hip attack. Kick to the hamstring now. Shima going for a couple shots. Adam Cole now. Big back elbow to the to the spine there. Misses the left hand. Shima's going to make follow, though. Shima trying to circle around here with Adam Cole. Shima's finally going to get a hold of him. Nice headlock takedown by Adam Cole in the ring. Cole's not having that. Susan Kyoto's not having that. Cole misses an NC. Chop. Big right hand by Shima. Back and forth we go once again. Huge left and another chop and down goes Shima. Adam Cole taking advantage of Shima. Trying to go up 2-0 for his team and basically lock it in for next week's title match. Shima, though, wants to give L. Lindemann a chance to, to set up his squad, his unit, to get whatever kind of situation they want next week on their match. Machine Gunner, Carl Anderson, obviously, will play a part in trying to stop that. But if Shima can't get through Adam Cole, it's not even going to matter. Hip attack once again by Adam Cole. Kick up there by Shima. Shima's going to chase Adam Cole around the ring here. Adam Cole trying to keep his distance from Shima. We all know Shima, 20-plus year vet. Adam Cole knows this, and he knows that he's a very, very dangerous person. Big uppercut forearm, though. Missing a chop there's Adam Cole. Shima's going to get shot. Shima off the rope. Drop to a hold. Down goes Cole. Misses the chop. Shima out. Gonna circle with Adam Cole. Kick to the chest. Down he goes. He's gonna pull him out of that corner now. Shima circling with Adam Cole. He's gonna whip him to the buckle. He's gonna come off himself. Gonna shoulder each other. No one's gonna budge. Snap suplex though. Down goes Adam Cole, but he's the first one to his feet. Shima now. Taking a huge three play combo of a forearm to the face. Cole now. He's going to put him in a figure four. Might be in the Give ropes, up. though. Kyoto's not going to call it. Give Make up. sure he doesn't get that rope. He doesn't. Shima's getting out of there. Thought Adam Cole might try to cheat. He's going to put him in the corner. Shima looked to charge, but Cole's going to make his way out. Yeah. Cole now picks him up. Big suplex down with Shima. Kick to the hammy now. Cole, yeah. big super kick, but Shima's not phased by it. Cole cheating? Yeah. Yeah, another hip attack. Cole now, gonna go back to another figure four. Kyoto's gotta get in there. Shima is in a bad spot here right now. Kick to the chest now. Misses a punch, misses the kick. Shima is gonna pick him up, body slam. Down goes Adam Cole. He's gonna shoot off the rope. Here he comes back in. Big basement drop kick. Adam Cole is gonna get to his feet. Shima's gonna drop an elbow, kick to the hamstring, stop it on that kidney. Big back elbow out of the back, and he's going to drop a knee himself. Another one. Shima now trying to get back to his feet. A chop on the other hand. Shima. All right, another kick there by Cole. Shima will not go down, though. He's going to shoot him into that buckle. Here comes Cole. Stops. Excuse me. Shima's going to put him in that buckle. They're going to go upstairs. Shima's going. Oh, huge shot. You can add a reverse razor's edge. But Cole is on his feet. <sighs> Drop down off the rope. They're going to shoulder into each other again. You know, I noticed that too about Adam Cole's head, but I wasn't going to say anything. Or it's just because Shima's head is so small. I don't know. <laughs> Shima now. Somebody take Shima. Uh, he's on, he, I'm friends with him on Facebook. Let me keep coming and answer. Shima, why is your head small? <laughs> Way slot. He's going to counter. He's going to get him in. Back elbow, though, by Adam Cole. Cole's going to pick him up. Big kick again. This time, Shima does drop. Another kick and down goes Shima. And Adam Cole is in control here. Dropping a knee on the back once again. Thought he was heading to the rope for maybe a Panama City Sunrise, but instead, he's going to do a cross line brain buster. He's going to drag Shima out of that corner. Adam Cole is clearly in control here. He's going to pick him up. Shima, though, just as I say it, does a body slam. And a front drop kick. Cole now back on his feet. He's going to hit a kick. There's a last shot. Down goes Shima. Rep is in place. Is that going to do it? Kyoto, one, two. 
only a two count. Shiva getting the shoulder at 12 minute mark and the crowd is getting on their feet. Here they go. Back and forth. Adam Cole drop kick to Shiva. Shiva's back on his feet. Super kick down goes Cole and Shiva's going with them. And he's going to put him in a nice, nice death lock. Cole doesn't have a way out there. He's going to have to force out. He does. Step up in Zaguri. Down goes Adam Cole. I don't know if, if, if rumors are that he's going to bounce. Maybe he'll lose it to Dream on Sunday. Back elbow there now. Cole coming off the rope. Cole with a huge kick to the head. Lamaha Straw Cradle. Cradle is in place. One, two. Oh! Two. Shiva now. Emerald Flosion. Cover. One. Two. Only a two count again. Shiva's going to shoot him off the rope. Here he comes in. Drop kick to the knee. Give and up. he's going to work that leg there. Give up. Adam Cole. Here we go now. Kick to the kick to the midsection. Another last shot. That might do it for him. Cover one, two. Only a two count as well. The crowd is on their feet. Shot by Shima. Super kick down goes Adam Cole. He's gonna pull him out of that corner. Pick it up. Here comes another basement drop kick on point. Misses the uh, upper uppercut there. Punch in the midsection though. Yeah, Demptress, I think I think that could happen. I mean, he's been taking care of so well. I don't see why he would move, leave, but I mean, hell, money talks. Comes through. Shima, huge hip toss. Down goes Adam Cole. Shima on the top there. Huge meteora. He's gonna pull him off now. Shima with a cover. Kyoto one. Two! Only a two count Cole up. <laughs> oh, another big pump kick. Oh, another super kick. Well, she ain't gonna wrestle for a while, so. Step up kick there by Shima, though. Shima heading upstairs. He's coming back down, though. You would think he would have been waiting for something, but he doesn't. Shima with an elbow to the back. No, he's gonna pull them up. Big drop kick to the back. Down goes Adam Cole. And Shima is starting to get control here. Goes for a kick of his own. He misses another hip attack by Adam Cole. Cole's going to pick up Shima now. Big super kick to the back of the head. He's going to drag him out of that corner now. He's going to pick him back up once again. Cole, elbow to the back. Cole's picking him back up again. Another kick to the head. Adam Cole is almost toying with him, it seems like. He's going to shoot out the rope. Big pump kick again. Shima is worse for wear, and then Zaguri. This has got to be it. Oh, a punch to the back of the head. I don't know how much more of this Shima's going to be able to take. Last shot. That is going to do it, folks. That will do it. Cover one, two, three. Adam Cole is going to defeat Shima. <laughs> you get it, kid. Adam Cole puts Undisputed Air up 2-0 over the Stronghearts. We still have the third one-on-one -on -one match that we will have to run, but the last shot, Adam Cole gets the victory. Folks, we're going to go to our first title match of the evening. Yankee 2 Pistols, Yankee 2 Kenju, whatever you like to call them. It's Sami Kodaka and Yuko Miyamoto. Last week defeated Yohei and Hayata of the Rattels to become the first ever junior tag team champions. This week, the Rattels want another shot at it to try to claim those titles back. But instead of Yohei and Hayata, they get Tadasuke and the leader of the Rattels, Daisuke Harada himself. This is going to be fantastic action. Oh, and Tadasuke is giving everyone the burn. And here comes the champions, Yankee to Kenji. Yuko Miyamoto, Asami Kodaka, the Pro Wrestling Summit Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Champions. 
And we all know that these guys will bring the shenanigans if needed. Kyoto's gonna square him off, and ladies and gentlemen, this is our first title match of the evening. Harada, Tadasuke, trying to get that redemption piece for the Rattels, Yohei and Hayata, who lost last week in the finals of the Junior Tag Team title tournament. Looks like Yagi took edge, though. Excuse me, I apologize. Harada's gonna tag in Tadasuke. Tadasuke has been one of the biggest, oh, nice double drop kick. One of the biggest surprises in all of Pro Wrestling Summit. And a double close like Kyoto needs to start stepping in here. Give up. Miyamoto with no worry. Kodaka now. Big suplex by Tadasuke. Asami Kodaka here is in a bad spot. Two minutes into this match and he has got no offense on. He's going to make a tackle, and he's going to get in Yuko Miyamoto. Miyamoto now. Helping suplex by him and Kodaka. Tadasuke is hitting it to his feet, though, before Kodaka. Miyamoto's going to shoot him into the buckle, and he's going to eat a huge knee lift. Miyamoto's going to try to get some momentum back, hit a chop right there. Misses the clothesline, but a shot to the groin. Tadasuke making a groin shot. There goes Miyamoto now, trying to come through. I apologize. I'm having a real life work situations going down here. Retail life, Minnesota, you know that's a problem right now. Uh, Miyamoto, here comes Daisuke Hirata back in the ring there. He's going to go in there, misses a drop kick as Miyamoto. Forearm shot missed as well, and we're at a stalemate. Daisuke Hirata now, taking a back elbow by Yuko Miyamoto. Miyamoto with a chop, forearm by uh, Harada. Slap to the face, back and forth, here we go. And Harada's gonna take advantage of them. Both men are gonna drop. Asami Kodaka, ready to be tagged, but Yuko Miyamoto's gonna get pulled out of there. And Miyamoto now is gonna drag him out. He's gonna tag in Kodaka. Kodaka's gonna get worked though, trying to get out of that buckle. And Harada is trying to take advantage. Harada now. Huge Roar Yamo misses, but a big a big left hand there by Kodaka. Kodaka suplex to the floor goes Harada now. Yuko Miyamoto's gonna chase after him now. Waist lock. And he's gonna hit a huge backbreaker on his knee. And they're going at it. Miyamoto's gonna hit a forearm. They're gonna break it off. Now Miyamoto's gonna shoot it to the buckle. He's got a folding chair. Harada's chasing him. Miyamoto's gonna pick him up and hit a huge suplex. And he's got a second chair. He's going to the ring. Yeah, I thought it was going to get a count out there. Miyamoto's bringing chairs into the ring. We were got to an 18 count. I have no idea what's going on. Harada with the Northern Lights. Kyoto, too. Only a two count. Kodaka. I, I thought we were going to have a count out. I thought this was going to be the shortest tag match in the history of the company. Harada now is going to make them both eat it. Tadasuke sizing up with Yuko Miyamoto and a big headbutt by Miyamoto. And he's going to turn into a half crab on Tadasuke. Harada's going to stay on the apron, but Kyoto is in place. Doesn't matter. Miyamoto now is going to follow through. Shoots him off the rope. Come off. Chest to chest. Tadasuke is not going down from that. Miyamoto is going to hit the buckle. Go behind by Tadasuke. Caught him with a snap there. Miyamoto is going to pick him up now. Tadasuke not having it. Thought about the tag. Doesn't do it. Goes back to Miyamoto. Caught him right. Oh my god. One of his own. Stopped to the back now. <laughs> and a huge strike rush by Yuko Miyamoto. And then an eye poke by Tadasuke. Tadasuke waist lock and a Pele kick by Yuko Miyamoto, and here we go. Camel clutch now. Daisuke Hirata waiting Hello. for it. He's not worried once again. Hello. I am not losing control, God damn it. I am keeping it going. <laughs> I'm trying to. I apologize. Body slam by Tadasuke now. He's going to pull Miyamoto out. Tadasuke is going to bring in Daisuke Hirata now. Miyamoto's trying to get to his corner, but Tadasuke is going to counter. Miyamoto's going to drag him out. He's going to bring in Asami Kadaka. Chair is still in the ring, ladies and gentlemen. They're going to work on Harada. Harada with a go behind. Waysock and a big side suplex. Miyamoto went for an attack, but he missed. Tank Madness is right. Kick to the chest there by Harada. Kodaka now shooting him off the rope. Here comes Asami Kodaka with a huge sling blade. Down goes Daisuke Harada. He's going to shoot right back off the rope. And here he comes in with a basement drop kick. Harada, though, first to his feet. Something might be wrong with Kodaka. Waistlock. Back elbow though by Kadaka. And a huge knee to the face. 
Big shot to the gut now. Harada's trying to get Tadasuke back in there. He is going to do it. Kodaka now in the wrong end, but he's going to kick his way out of it. He's going to pull Harada in, but he's got the wrong man. Tadasuke instead is going to grab him, but a DDT by Kasabi Kodaka. And here we go. 10-minute mark. He's bringing Yuko Miyamoto back in. Body set by Tadasuke, but a big drop kick by Yuko Miyamoto as Tadasuke was not aware of the situation, but he's going to eye gouge off the pickup, and now he's going to get him in a torture act. You asked for torture acts. Everybody's getting torture acts tonight. Shot missed by Miyamoto. Said Tadasuke's going to throw a knee to the chest. Tadasuke's going to pull him out of that corner now. Picks him back up by the waistline. Back elbow by Miyamoto. Pele kick, double down is Tadasuke. Tadasuke misses a kick, but Miyamoto's going to hit his. Ducks under again. Oh, and another kick to the groin. Kiona, come on here. And a huge lariat head over heels goes Yuka Miyamoto. Neck bumps, bro. But he's going to hit an island driver and both men are down. And Miyamoto with a cover. Harada's in play. One, two, no. And Harada's going to put him in a Boston Crab. Kiona, he's not legal. What the hell is wrong with you? Get out, out of the ring. Go. Miyamoto now is going to get Kodaka in the ring. Tadasuke is bringing in Daisuke Harada here. We got all four men in here. Yankee Tsukenju on the attack here. Kodaka posing. Throws a forearm. Back and forth we go. Forearm City. Harada. Kodaka. Harada. Here comes Kodaka with a super kick. Getting advantage of it. Punch to the midsection. He's thought he was bringing Tadasuke back in. Harada going to get shot through off here by Kodaka. Huge running front drop kick. Both men are hurting though. No, Harada's up first. Kodaka off the ropes he goes and it's a big team Manu Pew Tony Jostai knee attack and a Northern Lights but it's countered with a DDT by Asami Kodaka big knee to the chest now as well Kodaka picks up Harada misses the drop kick Harada coming off the ropes here back elbow chop there by Asami Kodaka Yankee Tukenju is on a roll here he's going to tag in Miyamoto Harada Shoots him off the rope. Miyamoto's going to intercept. Big body slam by Harada. Kick to the hammy. And he's going to get Tadasuke back in this ring now. Here comes the Rotel's forearm by Harada. Kick out, though, by Yuko Miyamoto. But Tadasuke is right back to his feet. We saw a moonsault attempt there, but he's going to punch him in the face. My God. Miyamoto now. Coming in. Looks like he's going to hit him with a vertical suplex. Down goes Tadasuke. We are 15 minutes into this match, ladies and gentlemen. Yuko Miyamoto is going to shoot Tadasuke off the rope. Here he comes with a big lariat down to Tadasuke. He owed him from that last one. Picks him up here. And we're going to see another razor's edge. Down he goes. Tadasuke back to his feet. But he's going to shoot him into the wrong corner. And he realizes it. But he's going to charge anyway with a huge lariat. Yuko Miyamoto, though, big rib breaker. He's going to tag him, Kodaka. Miyamoto's going upstairs. Comes back down. Kodaka was trying to get him to play. And miscommunication by Yankee Jimenezzi. Uh, Akenju shooting up the rope there. Big chop again. I tried to combine Yankee 2 Kenju and Yankee 2 Pistols apparently. But I apologize. Super kick down goes Tadasuke. And here comes Jack Knight style pin cover. Whoa. Miyamoto's not great. Not helping there. Serrano's going to break that up. And the crowd is on their feet, folks. Tadasuke's going to go for a cover. One, two, two. I don't even know what happened there. Kodaka now. And here comes Tadasuke with a pile driver. My God. Harada's coming in the ring now. Two on one to Kadaka. Nope. But it's another huge rolling flip out power bomb there. And a big roaring elbow by Harada. Strike rush there by Kadaka. Down goes Harada. And we saw that uh, on that initial Tadasuke power bomb. That was the thing that finished Fuminori Abe in the tournament. Uh, straight KO, man. Miyamoto now in the ring here with Daisuke Harada. These tag matches are fantastic, folks. Multiple back elbows there. Miyamoto though with an island driver. Both are down. Tadasuke's on one side watching. Harada is tired, but he's got to get him out of that corner. They're going to pop chest. Doesn't matter. Down goes Harada. He's going to tag in Tadasuke. And he's going to put him in a, in a huge armbar. Kiona's just letting this go with the illegal man. Come on. Explain this shit to me. Big rim breaker there by Yuko Miyamoto. He's going to pull Tadasuke out now. Crowd is on their feet. Waist lock. Go behind now by Tadasuke. Tadasuke on the backslide. 
Kodaka's going to break that up, though. Parada late to the party. Kodaka's going to be lifting the buckle. Tadasuke now. He's going to pick up Miyamoto and hit a huge cover. Cover. Kodaka. Kodaka, you got to get that pin. We're going to have new champions. No, oh, Miyamoto's going to get the shoulder up. Only a two. We almost had new champions in second time. One. Kodaka's going to get in. Kodaka's going to break it up. Okay, here we go. Shot again. Tadasuke. Oh, my God. He hit a <laughs> shot, Kyoto. Kyoto, bro, I'm banging you. Huge choke bomb. Harada's gonna break it up. Oh my God, another kick up by Miyamoto. Tadasuke has this thing won, but he cannot get the job finished. Miyamoto's gonna get the tag, and here comes Asabi Kodaka. Miyamoto getting thrown for days. And it doesn't even matter because Tadasuke's got him down too. Only a two count. Tadasuke has taken over. Tadasuke, I don't know why he tagged in Daisuke Harada. I mean, I get it, but right now, bro, you have so much momentum. Drop kick miss now, Harada. Go behind. Huge German. That'll do it if he doesn't break this up. Oh my god, two and three quarters. High low on Harada. Kodaka's gonna pick him up now. Huge Busaku knee strike. Kick to the chest now. Down goes Harada. This match is off the charts. Harada. Huge sidewalk slam. Down goes Kodaka. Both men are down. And a tombstone from Daisuke Harada. He's gonna pick Kodaka back up. He's gonna go for that German one more time, but Kodaka was ready for it. He's gonna get Yuko back in. And here comes Miyamoto. Double up, but he's gonna kick his way out of it. He's chasing Miyamoto. Small package, counter on all one, two, three, and we have new tag team champions, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, they're still fighting after. The Rattels have defeated Yankee 2 Kenju in their first title defense. Harada and Tadase getting the job done that Yohei and Hayata could not. Small package out of nowhere in the middle of all that insane fighting. Wow, that was incredible. Back and forth, back and forth, and then a small package. Nobody expected it. Yuko Miyamoto takes the fall. Daisuke Harada, the leader of the Rattels, makes the pin, and we have new tag team champions. Incredible, folks. Wow. Whew. Whew. Excuse me while I take a drink. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of hour number one. We are halfway through the show. Five down. Yeah, that was incredible. Five matches down. Five to go. As we're entering hour number two. Remember on Nitro, they're like, we're going in hour number two. And then da -da 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 shooting the shit everywhere. Damn it, that's what we're doing. Is we're going into our other match between the three Ma the three single matches for the six man tag titles. It's time for L Lindemann. We need the seven cheerleaders. We had that last show. L Lindemann taking on the machine gun, Carl Anderson. Lord have mercy. That was incredible. Woo! Oh my god. Woohoo! Here comes the machine gun. Once again, shameless plug. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash WrestleCast. Six different WrestleCast radio shirts, including the one right below me on the on the podium. You can get that shirt. You can get your summit shirt. We got seven total. Make a purchase, baby. Support the stream. Here we Fuck. go. Kyoto's gonna call it. We are entering hour number two, folks. And L. Lindemann does what L. Lindemann normally does, and he starts the match with an eye gouge. Oh, oh Demtris, that sucks, man. Uh, Dem Demtris is 
It's the stream kind of right at the end there. Oh my god. Machine Gun Carl Anderson here. Uh, we all know Carl Anderson came into that heavyweight title tournament. Lost to Naomi Nomura, who eventually went on to be in the finals uh, before losing to Walter. And Carl Anderson trying to find himself a, a, a sort of identity. Get himself on a good track here. And when you're in the Scooter Era, we're in the tag team tournament finals against the Young Bucks. They also had managed to make their way to the six man tag finals. Roderick Strong was faced with a problem where Fish and Riley, Kyle Riley, weren't allowed to do double duty. We don't do double duty here in the summit. Big pile driver by Kyle Anderson. And we, we, we want the safety and we want the, the match quality to be there. So we don't want people getting hurt. Obviously, he grabbed Adam Cole, the other member of the Undisputed Era, who wasn't in the heavyweight title tournament anymore. And they needed a third. And they grabbed this man you're seeing in the ring right now, the machine gun Carl Anderson. And Carl Anderson came in, took that fifth spot roll of the Undisputed Era, and not only did they win the titles, but he got the deciding fall, if I remember correctly. Machine Gun came in and said, hold my beer, I am worth it. Last week, coming into the same spot with another eye gouge, L. Lindemann, the last man left for the Strong Hearts. Three on one against Strong, BJ, Falter, Daisuke Sakamoto, and Yuji Okabayashi. And he took those three men to the limit. And that's why he's the guy in this last match. And that's why he's getting the shot against Carl Anderson. Adam Cole defeated Shima. Roderick Strong defeated T-Hawk. So we already know that the Undisputed Era gets to pick the stip next week on our Super Show for our big Super Card. Five titles on the line next Friday night. Stun gun by Carl Anderson. But Lindemann's coming in here to try to get a sense of pride for this team and not get shut out. And I think in that situation, this might be the right guy for the job. Just saying. But Carl Anderson right now is saying that I am wrong as he is putting a beating on 1L Lindemann. Lindemann's going to shoot him into the buck, although just as I say that, Carl's going to counter. Lindemann's going to drag him out of that buckle, put an elbow to the spine. Carl Anderson back to his feet. Northern Lights attempt blocked by a DDT, though. Oh, that Anderson. Misses a chop. Now Carl Anderson with a big body slam. Down goes out Lindemann. Carl Anderson now. Put him in a modified stretch plum. Shades of Toshiaki Kawada. Kick up there by Lindemann. What flexibility. For him. Back and forth we go. Lindemann. Here comes Machine Gun Lindemann. Carl Lindemann. Dropping Machine Gun Carl Anderson. Oh, Mir oh not Ken Anderson. Not Ken Anderson. Lindemann's going to bring him to the center. I'm going to the back of Machine Gun. He's going to take that leg out though. Carl Anderson now. Oh my god! Kyoto went into place, but he walks away. That is the fourth goal rolling scene. But then again, I shouldn't I shouldn't say anything because Al Lindemann has raked Machine Gun's eyes about seven times. Oh, a cocky cover there. Only gonna get a one count though. Machine Gun's gonna push that off. Shooting Lindemann into the buckle. Lindemann's gonna hold that rope. Misses a chop. Carl Anderson's gonna pick him up. Huge Death Valley driver though on Al Lindemann. Machine Gun's going to pick Lindemann back up now. He's going to shoot off the rope. Here he comes. Big calf kick to the back of the head. Down goes on Lindemann, but he is back to his feet. Jaw breaking this time. Pulling him out of that corner now. Lindemann dropping a leg on Carl Anderson. Here they go now. Carl Anderson's going to pick up Lindemann with a nice elevated vertical, vertical suplex. Carl Anderson throwing a little bit of a taunt action. He's going to go right back to that Get modified up. stretch plum. Kyoto is in Get place. Up. Nope. And Lindemann's going to find his way out of it. Judo throw down goes Carl Anderson. Lindemann now getting some air there. Big Larry missed by Machine Gun. Anderson getting shot in the buck. A huge spear by a Lindemann. Here we go. Lindemann's going to miss an attack. Carl Anderson though is trying to size him up. Goes for a chop. He doesn't hit it. Arm ringer no. Big elbow to the back of the arm now. Lindemann though trying to get back onto, his, onto the, the offense here now. Elbow to the back. He's going to pick him up by the waistband. And a nice back suplex. Carl Anderson's up first, though. Punch to the midsection. He's going right back into that arm of Al Lindemann. Misses that Larry. That's the second time he's tried that now. Out one of the back. Now Lindemann getting him up to his feet. Another back elbow by Lindemann. He's pulling him right back up. And a German suplex. Kyoto, one, two. The two count only. 
And a Boston Crab by Give up. Carl Anderson here on L. Lindemann. Give up. Lindemann. Okay, Lindemann getting out of it. I was going to say it for a second. I think he was going to make it. Big Northern Lights. So back Whoa. kill to one, two. Only a two count. Jawbreaker this time by L. Lindemann now. He's getting some wind back in him. He's getting some of that wind back in him. A second jawbreaker down to Machine Gun. Only a two count this time. Into the buckle. Machine Gun now. Oh, but he's going to dump Lindemann. Lindemann's going to get back up, and he's going to bring a chair with him. He is fed up with this. What is he going to do? Oh, he swung, but he missed. Carl Anderson with a gorilla pass. Down goes Lindemann. Give up. I would have got that three count. Give up. <laughs> Give up. Boston grabbed him on machine gun. Lindemann, though, is going to work him out of it. Lindemann, waist lock, German suplex, kill to one, two, three. Oh, the three. Machine gun shoulder is up there. Stun gun by Carl Anderson. Roll through, cover. One, One. two. Three. Only a two count. Lindemann is back up. This time, Northern Lights Suplex Kyoto is not going to count that, though. That's in the rope. The crowd is hot, though. Once again, we got another match that's giving us some time here. Big back elbow in the corner. Lindemann, he's going to hit a huge T Bone Tazplex. Both are down. It looks like Lindemann landed on that chair he brought in. And Machine Gun's gonna give him a mention Uncle Driver on it. Oh my god, I don't think the ref really there was a chair there. Only a two count Lindemann gets the shoulder up. Wow. And a German in the corner, but that's not gonna work. Big clothesline missed there. Lindemann T bone onto the chair. Something's gonna give Kyoto needs to get that out of here. A stunt that on the chair this time. Oh my god. Carl Anderson's gonna bring him out. And he's going to put him in a camel clutch now. Give up. Give up. Kyoto. Give up. Lindemann, I don't think he's going to bite. Give up. Nope. Lindemann's going to get out of it. Oh, Lindemann's out. Lindemann with a club to the back there. And a German onto the chair. That might do it. Whoa. One. Two. Ooh. Only a two count machine gun is out. This match is on fire. Big gorilla pressed out by the machine gun. And he's going to throw him out of the ring. Anderson's going after Lindemann now. Go behind. Lindemann, huge hook. Back suplex. He's going to throw him into the buckle. He's going to get in the ring first, though. And he's going to, he's going to top. He's son of a bitch. Lindemann. Carl Anderson's going to pick him up with a big powerbomb cover. The one, two, three, and that's it. Snorlax in the chat, what up? The Undisputed Era with the sweep. The literal sweep. That's not good next week for Stronghearts. Pro Wrestling Summit t-shirts, ladies and gentlemen. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash wrestling camp. Get yourself a Pro Wrestling Summit tee. You don't already have one, baby. Next up, we have Katsuhiko Naka. <laughs> Random chill. Katsuhiko Nakajima making his return from his match against Walter where he was injured. And he is going up against one of Dragon Gate's biggest up and rising stars. And remember that, that unit inside of the summit, Ben K. As we see, Luke... Always seeming to time himself perfectly. If I do say, my, say so myself. As we see Katsuhiko Nakajima right there. But ladies and gentlemen. One of the best up and coming stars in the world. One of the most vicious spears you will see. The Ben K spear. You are damn right. Here comes Ben K on his way to the ring. Ben K folks just recently lost to Ata In the second round of the King of Gate tournament. So he is looking to come over to the summit, try to get a win back after losing that one. Nakajima now has not had action since losing to Volta when he ate that disgusting sit out. It, it's, I don't even know what he calls it. It's just disgusting. Oh my God, Ben K with a body slam. 
Ben K with another body slam. Down goes Nakajima. He's going to put him in a Boston Crab in early. That's the name just disgusting. Yeah, it's like a pump. It's it's a pump handle sit out power bomb. It's it's and it just it just puts people away with it. Ben K now is going to have the power advantage on Nakajima. Nakajima also hasn't been wrestling for the last couple of weeks because of the injury, so he's got a little ring rust to get rid of as well. So Ben K theoretically, uh, we'll see. I mean. If Ben Clay squashes him, then maybe no, he shouldn't be out there. But Nakajima wanted back in. Big kick to the face there. Katsuhika Nakajima is somebody who is not going to sit on the sidelines. And if he can't get back into that title picture, big belly of the suplex, he wants to make sure him and Go Shiyazaki of Access can get right into those tag title pictures. So Nakajima needed to get back and show that he could do something. Spin will kick him. Ben K just flexes on him. Ben K's going to shoot him off with a big back body drop now. Stop to the midsection here. Nakajima's going to miss a kick. Ben K, though, with a knee lift. Ben K's going to shoot him back into the rope one more time. Big back elbow. It's going to be missed. Nice kicks there to the shin by Nakajima. There goes Ben K now. Back at it. Back elbow by Nakajima. He's going to shoot him into the buckle now. Shooting him back into that other side. Here we go. He's going to charge. No, Ben K's going to come up. This is a shoulder thrust. Shooting Nakajima over. Here he charges. Big spear. And there's one of those spears we were talking about. Kick to the chest now. And uh, up and over goes Nakajima. He's going to pick him up now. Ben K. Another belly to belly. He is taking spear count one. <laughs> He is taking it to Nakajima. For him, here we go back and forth with Nakajima and Ben K. Ben K is going to put him down, but he's going to go down with him. Ben K is going to get to his feet now. Nakajima misses the kick. Shoot him off the rope. Here comes Nakajima with another thrust kick. And he comes off with a kick while he's laying on the ground there. Shot to the chest now by Ben K. He's going to shoot into that buckle. Kick though. Nakajima is going to fight his way out. Soccer kick as well. And he is starting to work over Ben K. Waist lock down goes Nakajima though from Ben K. He's going to pick him up and drag him out of that corner. Stomp to the midsection. Ben K now another waist lock. Ben K bomb. Already. One. Two. Oh my god. He almost defeated Nakajima already. That Ben K bomb almost put him down like that. Misses the drop kick now. Ben K just shrugged that one away. He's going to hit a kick to the midsection. That one, though, is going to land. Nakajima kick to the kidneys now. Ben K is going to shoot him into the buckle. Here comes Ben K with another spear. And that's to the count. And here comes another gut wrench. Down goes Nakajima. Ben K is going to pick him up. Here he comes off the rope. Oh, and he went for another spear, but he missed it. That might have put Nakajima away. And... Here comes an angle slam. Maybe Nakajima isn't healthy and ready to get back in there. Big form to the face. Now down he goes. Ben K is just... Oh, another spear. Down goes Nakajima. And another Ben K bomb. That might do it. Oh, Nakajima's out. He's going to go right to that hamstring. He's going to try to slow him down. But Ben K's going to put him right back down. And another spear! My God, Luke, you said the Ben K spear. You almost jinxed Nakajima. <laughs> he's went for he's four for five, eighty percent here. He's gonna shoot into that buckle. Here comes Nakajima with a charge and a huge thrust kick. Stop up in Zaguri this time now, and he's got him in an ankle lock. Ben K though, is some, I don't know where the break came there, man. I don't know about that one, Kyoto. He can't get him up, though. Ben K's going to hit his own suplex. Down goes Nakajima. Ben K's starting to suck a little wind, though. Spear! Yeah. Nakajima this time. No! Brain Buster! Down goes Ben K. Nakajima caught one, two. Oh, the two count. Shoulder by Ben K. Ten minutes into this one now. And another Olympic slam. Ben K is taking control. 
Wastelock from behind, Dragon Suplex, oh, into a full Nelson slam, and he's got him in a choke Give here. Up. Can Nakajima hold on? Give up. He does. Ben K, another Ben K bomb. That's got to do it, folks. Oh, my God, Nakajima. And he's going to hit him with a plus saw kick. Work the hammy. Nakajima go behind by Ben K. Another full Nelson slam. He's going to pick him back up. Wasteland. Oh, back elbow. Nakajima throws the forearm. Ben K with another Ben K bomb. That's done, folks. One, two, three. Call for the bell. My God, what a match. Ben K. Wow. Wow, that was awesome. That was almost as awesome as your pro, uh, WrestleCast radio wristbands. We got them in like six different colors. Better, yeah, bullshit is right. 81% kiss my ass. I'm with you on that. Hey, man. I gotta be, baby. Three matches to go, folks, and we're going to our second title match of the evening. KZ, when he defeated Kaito Ishida, Kaito Ishida out for three months, KZ said, I will be a defending champion, and I would like to put my title on the line as much as possible. Last week, KZ took on Koji Iwamoto from Jin, got the victory, said, I want more. This week, he got a member of the Violent Giants. He's taking on Yusuke Okada. This man right here. Jim Ross guys. How many t-shirts we sold already? <laughs> My God, how many, how many t-shirts we sold? Terrible, terrible Jim Ross. I apologize. Two. Let's go. Hopefully it's two. Two and a half. If we sold two and a half shirts, I don't know if that's possible. ProWrestlingTees.com forward slash WrestleCast. KZ now, here comes the champion himself. He wants to defend this thing all the time. No one's going to tell him no. But he's got to realize the risk, just like when Yankee 2 Kenju decided to take the risk and defend him, their, their junior tag titles. They did not get it done. The Rattels defeated him. So KZ putting the junior title on the line against Yusuke Okada and the Violent Giants. Let's see what happens. WWE 2K Universe 101. What up? Welcome to the stream here. <laughs> I mean, I, look, we, we can sell everything here. We, we got the wristbands. We got the t-shirts. I mean, come on, man. Whatever whatever you need to sell. Look, I got you, bro. Just, just hit that buy button. <laughs> uh, <laughs> excuse me. Somebody yeah. told me it froze. Uh, I got to make sure he knows. Yeah, we're, we're alive. Yeah. Yusuke Okada now. He's got a lot to prove here. Oh, really? <laughs> KZ with a running forearm there to Kodaka. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey, this is our seventh week in a row. WWE 2K Universe every Friday night, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. We are running for two hours. We're giving you your fix when wrestling can't give you your fix at the Pro Wrestling Summit. Let me flip the t-shirt. We got you covered, man. Hit the follow. Come in every Friday. Have some fun. Great group of guys. Come talk to us. We, we've been doing this like crazy. Yeah. Welcome to the show. Welcome to the show. Yusuke Okada now. Going for a clothesline. KZ, though, doesn't let it happen. KZ's going to pull him out of the buckle. WWE Universe. After this, we have... The American Dragon, Brian Danielson, taking on Ata from Real Extreme Diffusion. And in our main event, since yeah. you're here for the main event, Kazuchika yeah. Okada and the Young Bucks yeah. taking on Valter, yeah. Daisuke Sakamoto, and Yuji Okabayashi. Somebody may get hurt in that main event. It might be Matt Jackson's back. <laughs> we'll see what happens. KZ now getting thrown in the buckle. Yusuke Okada coming yeah. in here wanting this title. Yeah. Is that Alex Shelley? No, the, the man in the blue is Yusuke Okada from All Japan Pro Wrestling. And the man in the black and yellow is KZ. He is from Dragon Gate over in Japan. And uh, KZ 
is our Pro Wrestling Summit Junior Heavyweight Champion as well. Yusuke Okada going for a forearm, hits yeah. three of them, and a fourth one. KZ now yeah. gets hit with a vertical suplex, and here comes Yusuke Okada. Got a little size on him, and that might be enough to help. <laughs> Walter and Bash equals opponent in the hospital for six months. Lil Donnie. <laughs> All right, we've had a Jeff Hart request and a Lil Donnie request. We might need a, a five dollar wrestling uh, stable at any time here, and a huge lion tamer style Boston crab. Okada's going in the corner now. KZ thought about it. Yeah. Big forearm there to the face now. Club to the back. He's gonna drag him out of that buck. I'll step on the. No, Junior. I'm sorry, not Shooter, but God bless you. Uh, Minoru Suzuki should have a Shooter title. That's the real thing. Uh, uh, thumbs up to this man. Because <laughs> that would be the Shooter champion. He's the Junior, I apologize. The the light heavyweight or cruiserweight, whatever if you will. Covered by Okada now. Two kind of only KZ is going to get his way up. KZ is going to eat some more forearms. And a huge Larry by Yusuke Okada. Another one! Yusuke Okada is coming in here and he's Give got up. a chin lock. Kyoto is Give in up. place here. Give up. KZ's not having it though. KZ has got a lot of work to do to get back into this one. He's going to eat the buckle. Yusuke Okada's going to get dumped to the floor though. Junior Shooter Championship. <laughs> yeah, but to be fair. Oh my god, a German suplex on the floor. KZ. Minoru Suzuki would hold a shoot, shoot title. <laughs> And a snap suplex by KZ. Both men on the floor. We're at 15 here. 16. Yusuke Okada's the first. Both men are going to get back in, though. Wastelock. Schoolboy by KZ. One. Only a one count. Shoulder up by a Yusuke Okada. Crowd on their feet approaching the nine minute march. Okada's going to dump KZ, and they're going to go back to that floor now. That man with the black tank top and the gold chain is having a time of his life. And a good god, that was a huge German suplex on the floor. But is the first one to his feet. And he's got a folding chair. Oh my god, this is getting ugly. He's going to whip Okada down the all into the guardrail. They're by the apron now. He's bringing a chair in the ring. Kiona, what in the hell? Oh my god, he just hit him with a chair. Three, four. Oh my god, he hit him with a chair. This, what is going on here? KZ with a spear. Somebody get control of this. Kyoto. Every time we bring you in, you just let you... You forget what you're doing. Into the buckle of those KZ. Yusuke Okada's going to charge him now. Big step up kick. Yeah. And he misses a forearm. That could have put him out. Okada, though, sucking some wind there. He's got KZ where he wants him, but he's not capitalizing on it. Yeah. Yusuke Okada's going to pick him up now with a vertical suplex. Down goes KZ. <laughs> <laughs> got one, got all. KZ's gonna come off the rope now. Big drink, basement drop kick there. Okada circling with KZ. He's gonna grab him. Here comes a German suplex again. Killed us in place. One, two. Only a two count. KZ with the shoulder. Miss Larry. Into the buckle he goes now. Huge elevated DDT. Yusuke Okada is on the verge of becoming the new champion. Huge Lariat kick to the hammy. Yeah. And another German Kyoto. Oh, KZ is up. Oh my God. So KZ just kicked him in the dump. Oh my God. And a Canadian destroyer. Oh my god, he's gonna shoot out with a drop kick. KZ is Oh my god. Okada with a kitchen sink. Yusuke Okada trying to get this victory. And a perfect flex. One, two. Ladies and gentlemen, we got a new champion. Yusuke Okada has just defeated KZ. And he's got to go back to his unit without the title. We have had two title changes tonight. Yusuke Okada is your new junior heavyweight champion. And he is gassed. 82% lick my nuts. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That match was tremendous. 
Unbelievable. <laughs> yeah. Who is who is grading this? This is this is not Meltzer. Meltzer be at five stars. New champion. You need to fire your grading guy. Hell yeah, I do. Ladies and gentlemen, next up, here we go. Ata taking on the man who made his debut last week. Thank you. Thank you. I, I take pride in my booking. Speaking of Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, whatever you want to call him. Well, my revenge is something that fought me a horror. <laughs> what did Mihara's mask get, by the way? I don't remember. Mihara got a, on a 70. He got the worst match. What are you talking about? I didn't bribe him to do anything. Knucklehead. Get it right or pay the price. Daniel Bryan, the American Dragon, American Dragon Bryan Danielson, made his debut last week, losing to Kazuchika Okada to get to the to get a title shot here. He is going to take on Ata, but at the request of some people, we want to make sure that everybody knows Bryan Danielson is here at the summit. From Aberdeen, Washington. gentlemen he is ready to get back on the winning way as he comes in tonight to take on the leader of the real extreme diffusion stable Ata. thank you for trying to make up for the the damn cancel miyahara attack if you want to make up for it as well go on pro wrestling tees.com forward slash wrestlecast get yourself a pro wrestling summit shirt baby Here we go, Daniel Bryan. Coming in, the American Dragon for free. Uh, not free there, $19.99. $19. But it goes to a good cause. This guy. Fight. Here we go, folks. Bryan Danielson made his debut last week. As I called him both of his names multiple times. Took on one, Kazuchika Okada. The chat was split. Everybody thought, it, you know, half were Okada, half was Daniel Bryan Danielson. And Okada got the victory. You know, it, it was one of those things where maybe Bryan Danielson just wasn't used to the competition that he faced coming in here to get a, get a guy like Okada day one. I don't know. And and he said, no excuses. Ken Kata, man. I, Give up. We'll see what happens. We got storylines to work out. Um, Daniel Bryan said, you know, maybe I underestimated the talent that this company had, but I'm ready to come back in. I'm ready to work, and I'm ready to get back to the top, and I will become the Pro Wrestling Summit Heavyweight Champion. And here we go here. As Eita last week uh, came in, lost to Aikman Kuroshio, wants another shot to try to get on that winning way. And who was here to meet him? Brian Danielson. Ready to take on that challenge. So let's see what happens here. We all know Ata is a scumbag. <laughs> there will be more low blows. Kyoto's probably not going to catch him because Kyoto is Kyoto. Huge butterfly suplex. We've seen Ata go back to shooting the mist. I mean, anything is going to happen here. And I don't know the best way to gauge it. Brian Danielson knows the risk wrestling Ata. He knows that this man will do whatever it takes. That's why I think this match intrigues me so much is because we truly don't know. And Brian Danielson almost needs this win. Let's be honest, guys. Brian Danielson. There's that. I told you. 
Aita is going to shoot that mist, and Kiona stood up there and did nothing about it. Back and forth we go. Brian Danielson needs this W. He needs to beat Aita here tonight, because if he wants to get back on those winning ways, it doesn't help your stance. Big super click kick by Aita. Doesn't help your stance when you come into the company. Roll through cover, and you're 0-2 to start. People are not going to gas you. Nice dragon suplex yeah. variation there. No one is going to gas you uh, for the loss when you lose to Kazuchika Okada on your debut. You're wrestling the best guy in the world, arguably. You're wrestling to get a title shot against Walter. You didn't get the dub, but nobody's going to say a word to you about that. And when you come in here, the next show, and I am not putting down Aita by any means, but when you lose to Aita who is a definite notch lower than, than Okada. Now we gotta talk about some problems. Do you belong in the summit? Are you somebody who is just a WWE product who is just past his prime and not what he Give used up. to be? We don't know. And that's what this match is. And that's why this match is going on second to last. Give up. Eats apparently shops Give the up. same source Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Eats a no molestar. We, we, we have to we have to figure out if Daniel Bryan is ready to come in and compete because this is a different company, this is a different roster, and this heavyweight division is something different than he's used to. This isn't the WWE where half the guys are going to be lazy in the ring just to get by for a paycheck. This is Pro Wrestling Summit. These guys are going to work their ass off, and Ata is already taking two missed attempts. He's out of the ring. Kyoto's breaking that up. Daniel Bryan now, trying to get some momentum going, going for another heel hook, doesn't get it. Aita's is going to drag him out of that corner now. Elbow to the back. Aita looking to be gassed already. Yeah. Break. On the rope. And another big super kick by Aita that time. Huge uh, Asahi Moonsault. Daniel Bryan, now he's going to pull Aita out of that corner. Huge knees to the head. And the ref is asking him if he gives up. You might want to try to go in and stop something like this, to be really honest with you. Oh, the ref's down. We got a ref bump. Aita's going to catch the leg, and he's got him in a heel hook. But Bryan Danielson, whether he wants to quit or not, can't. He's going to kick his way out of this one now. Kyoto's back up to his feet. Doesn't look like any damage was done. It was a complete accident. The Irish whip Aita into the buckle and he caught Kyoto. No harm, no foul. Dragons through leg whip. He's going to go for a cover. That's not going to be enough. And it looks like Kyoto might be busted open. Don't quote me, but I don't know if you guys saw Kyoto's face. Aita now. Brian Danielson's going to roll through cover. Only a two count as well. Ten minute mark here. Aita is definitely tired. He's, oh, and a nice sit up face buster there. And he's going to hook him into an arm bar. Oh, my God. The ref is going to stop this match. Oh, my God. Something happened to Brian Danielson. Something just happened to Brian Danielson. Oh, my God. Aita got him a numero uno. uno. Dana Bryan. Ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> that was not expected. Uh, Daniel Bryan could not compete. The ref stopped the match. Not what we thought was going to happen. Um, yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, Daniel Bryan being helped to the back here. Yeah. Um, not really known known much, obviously. It just happened. Uh, he's in the back with the trainers. Um, we're going to our main event here. We're going to we're gonna have to get more on that next week. Uh, figure out what's going to happen. But, folks, it is time for our six-man tag main event. Everyone at Summit is about as safe as Nia Jax. <laughs> She's not like most girls. Just remember that. Ladies and gentlemen, our main event. Setting up our two big matches next week. And here comes the strong DJ tandem. Strong Big Japan. 
of Walter, Daisuke Sakamoto, and Yuji Okabayashi. Oh, man. And here comes this, this, yeah, this is a whole lot of man. And here comes Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson, and the number one contender, Kazuchika Okada. <laughs> they did, they destroyed Strong Arts. Young Bucks took Okada under their wing here uh, when he was in Impact Wrestling. He's owed him the favor, repaid it, and now they're in the main event. Once again, next Friday, folks. Kazuchi Okada taking on Volter for the Pro Wrestling Summit Heavyweight Championship. Daisuke Sakamoto and Yuji Okabayashi getting a tag title shot against the Young Bucks in next, next, next week's show. This is going to be a hell of a supercar next week, and this is how we're going to set it up. Junior title defense, the new champion, Yusuke Okada. We know KZ is already campaigning to get a rematch. Yankee 2 Kenjo yeah, is already campaigning to get a rematch against Tadasuke and Daisuke Harada, the Rattels. Uh, Hayata and Yohei, the other members of the Rattels, are saying, well, hey, we made the finals. Why can't we do Rattels, Rattels? We have no idea what's going on with that. And then we do know Undisputed Air, Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, Carl Anderson. We'll be defending against the Stronghearts, Shima, El Lindemann, and T-Hawk next week. Also, Nao Inamura and Jiro Aikaman Kuroshio will take on the Violent Giant, Shuji Shikawa, and Suwama. Also, four additional matches that have not been announced yet. Next week is going to be tremendous. I cannot wait for this show. And here we go with the Sharpshooter by Matt Jackson. Okabayashi is not a guy you want. Oh, nice, nice, uh, modified STO. Yeah, Shinlock, Okabayashi yeah. is going to get control, though. Okabayashi now. Big club to the face, misses a chop. He's going to shoot him into the buckle. Oh, my God, Okabayashi, once again, getting the advantage here. Big back combo once again there by Yuji Okabayashi. Matt Jackson's gonna get his brother Nick in. Yeah. We got strong BJ. We got the unbucked. Nick Jackson to the floor. Dicey Sekimoto's gonna body slam on Matt Jackson. Cover on the illegal man. Nick Jackson, though, is now gonna try to get in control, and both men are gonna get some distance. Kick to the chest now. Big forearm by Sekimoto. Another one. Kick. Another one. Another kick by Nick Jackson. And down goes Nick Jackson from that forearm. Nick Jackson being dragged out. Here comes Dicey Sekimoto with a huge elbow running style. Nick Jackson, though, going to get out of the way a little bit there. Going to get back to his feet, hit a forearm. Second one is going to miss his, but here comes Nick Jackson with a Horton Conrada. Dicey Second is going to eat a forearm, and he's in the wrong corner. Another Horton Conrada. Nick Jackson now misses a spinning back kick, but he's going to DDT him. He still has him in the center here. Cover. <laughs> Okamayashi and Walter said, you better get up because we're not coming to intervene. Wow. Not expecting that. Nick Jackson's going to break it up. The Sakamoto and Okabayashi are going at him. Big DDT now. Down goes Okabayashi. Kick to the face though. Nick Jackson down. Six minutes into this match. Nick Jackson now thinking about a tag. Modified STO and a chin lock now. Agree. Keep these guys away from the other ones. Matt's going to come in now. Okabayashi's going to work them both down. He's going to drag the wrong man though. Matt Jackson is going to eat a chop, kick to the chest, chop, another kick, chop, another kick, Okabayashi, and he's going to eat another one, and down they pulled, go. Matt Jackson will get to his feet, Boston Crab in their corner, that's the way to do it. Don't think you're going to make Okabayashi tap, though. It's probably not happening. Misses it, ends the Gary Okabayashi, and here comes the heavyweight champion, Volter. And they are going to hit a double power bomb on Matt Jackson, and we said that back might be an issue. Matt Jackson's trying to tag out already. He's going to get Nick in the ring now. Shooting him into the rope. Leapfrog runs into yeah. Nick. Nick misses in Enziguri. Waist lock and Volta puts a stop to that. Goes right after Nick Jackson. Forearm. He's going to drag him up in the corner. Elbow to the back now. Leg drop as well. 
Misses an Enziguri. The faults are in place now. And he is going to snap that arm of Nick Jackson. Pick him up with a waist lock. What up, TJ? Baby. Power Bob got one. Those legs are too thick to tap. Another arm breaker. TJ, thank you for joining us. It is Walter, Daisuke Sakamoto, Yuji Okabayashi, the strong BJ team, taking on the Young Bucks and Kazuchika Okada in our main event tonight. Give up. Next week, Young Bucks taking on Okabayashi and Sakamoto for the tag titles. Okada and Walter for the heavyweight title. Next week is going to be fire. Nick Jackson now being tormented by those two. He's going to take his way out. He's going at Walter, but he forgot that Okabayashi got tagged in now. Okabayashi coming in, and he is going to pick him up and just slam him down. And Nick Jackson is on the wrong side. Lariat. Chop now. Down goes Nick Jackson. And Okabayashi is going to pick him up with that massive power bomb. They're going to come and make the save. Out at two there. Okabayashi's gonna work a bolt out there. Nick Jackson trying to make the tank, and here comes the Rainmaker into the ring. And they're gonna hit a huge high low on Okabayashi. Kick to the face though by Yuji Okabayashi. Down goes Okada. Okabayashi now. He's gonna make his way over. And here comes Walter. Next week's main event are in the ring together. He's got the wrong man though. Walter. Forearm back and forth. Here we go. Chop. Forearm. Shot for him again there. Okada's going to drag Walter out of that buckle. He's going to go for the cover. One. Only going to get a one count. 12 minute mark here, folks. DDT by the Rainmaker. Okada's going to pull Walter out of that corner. I'll stop to the midsection. Walter back to his feet. He is going to try to rip his head off like a can. Oh, my God. Bucks don't break in. Second motor, though, coming in. Okada's going to kick a bolt out here. Waistlock missed there. Sekimoto. He's going to pick him up now. Huge gunbuster. Down goes Okada. Okada getting dragged by Sekimoto now. Daisuke Sekimoto has got Okada. Okada with magic forearms, though. He's going to drag Sekimoto back to the middle of the ring almost. Big drop kick. Two awesome drop kick. Down goes Sekimoto. But he misses a huge attack. European now by Okada. He's got to get out of that corner. He's going to go for a flipping senton now. And that's his cue. He's getting out of there. He's going to bring in Matt Jackson. And the Young Bucks coming in here now. Sakamoto's going to kick them both out. Lining up with Matt here. Matt's going to hit a forearm. Misses an Enziguri. Sakamoto's bringing Walter in the ring. Daisuke Sakamoto's got Matt Jackson. Throws an elbow to the back. Walter's going to roll him over. And Walter's going to just put his girth on him for a pin. Tiring him out logistically there. I mean, with all that weight on you, you can't, you know, you, you lose... You lose the gas that you had. And that's a way to try to tire him out. Super kick now by, by Nick Jackson. Matt Jackson, excuse me. Cover now. Here comes only a two count. And here comes a double power run again by Sakamoto and Okayashi. Walter working a kick now. Walter's got him in the corner. He doesn't even care. Head scissors safe down now. <laughs> they are. Big kick now by Walter. He's in there with Okada. Okada with a German. They're going to break that up though in a hurry. They're going to start working over Okada now. Huge chin lock. 15 minutes have gone by now. <sighs> Okada doesn't realize Sekimoto. Oh, he did with a big kick. He's going to take down Walter. No, Walter just fell on him. Sekimoto now. Throwing Okada into the buckle. Okada's going to counter out with a huge German suplex. They're going to get in there to break that up on a hurry. And they are annihilating Okada. Oh, my God. Okay. Okay. Come on. Cover by Sekimoto. Young Bucks are going to break that up. Kick to the midsection. And all men are down. Sekimoto now is picking up Vault, uh, uh, Okada. Excuse me. Out of the bag of the head. He's picking up Sekimoto. Up right back. Sekimoto is going to take a Yuji Okabayashi. Been a huge assisted stun gun there. Yeah. Big chop by Okabayashi. Yeah. Misses another one. He's going to get Nick in the ring now. Okabayashi's going to kick him all down. He's got Nick Jackson. He's going to shoot him off the rope now. Hey. And he's going to pick him up with a huge gorilla press slam. Oh! 
Okabayashi, waist lock, Larry to the back of the head. Down goes Nick Jackson. DDT, though, Nick Jackson getting to do his own here. He's going to pick up Okabayashi. And a huge hit to Curry. Taking him down. No, and Okabayashi's back up, and he's got him in a torture rack. Okada's going to break down with up, though. He's going to stop that because he's seen that all night. He's going to fight his way out of that double team. Walter, though, is going to make his way back to the corner. Nick Jackson trying to make a tag. Here we go, back and forth. Kick and a chop. Kick and a chop. Super kick by Nick Jackson. But Okabayashi with a lariat. Okabayashi now is going to his corner. He's going to get Walter in there. Nick Jackson's going to shoot him off the rope. But here comes Walter. Walter's got him in the buckle now. But a head scissors takedown. <laughs> Nick Jackson. He had Walter, but he's going to make the tag and get his brother mad in. Huge kick miss there. Now a nice kick, though, to Walter. And the Young Bucks are starting to get on the offense. A Northern Lights suplex. One, two, That's going to get broken up, though. Okada Nick Jackson should have been there a little bit quicker. Oh, here we go. Another kick to chop off. Super kick by Matt. Yes, it is. Walter back up. Don't know where he Down goes Matt Jackson. Walter's going to get Yuji Okabayashi, and we're 20 minutes in deep here. He misses a spear. Walter's got him up. Yeah. Okabayashi doesn't know what to do. Oh, I thought he was going to doomsday device him. Headbutt. Okabayashi trying to psych himself up here after that mental error. Huge Larry to the back of the head. He's going to drag him out of that corner now. He's going to pick him back up. And a huge chop. Yeah. Matt Jackson, though, getting out of the ring. He's going to tag in Okada. Kick to the chest. Okada now. He's going to shoot him out of the ring. Yeah. Nick Jackson's going after him. And Walter is going to hit a assistant stun gun with Sakamoto. Nick Jackson needs a spear from Okabayashi. Nick Jackson now getting back in the ring. Walter is annihilating Matt Jackson. Here comes Yuji Okabayashi. Nick and Walter are down. Huge suplex there by Sekimoto. On the Sekimoto. Neck breaker to Okabayashi from Okada. Okada now. Big drop kick on Yuji Okabayashi. The Rainmaker is going to shoot him off the rope now. And he's going to hit another drop kick. Down goes Yuji Okabayashi. And the Rainmaker is on the roll. Go behind. Drop kick to the back of the head as well. The best in the biz, man. Oh, but here comes the double yeah. power up. Oh, my gosh, and Walter. Walter now the heavyweight champion. But the Rainmaker's going to hit him with that Death Valley Driver suplex. And both men are down. Walter's on Dream Street. Thrown into the buckle. Okada, you are in the wrong corner, my friend. Putting him in a tree alone. I'm cooking him in the midsection. Another body slam, and out of the ring goes Walter. Spear by Okabayashi, and here comes the Young Bucks. Walter's going to get back in. Nick Jackson with a huge power slam. Walter terrorizing Okada with a forearm. This, that was the third power bomb, by the way. That was the third one. Nick Jackson coming back in the ring now. Walter's going to fight them both away. Walter now stopping Okada, not even paying attention to the legal man. He just wants to hurt Okada. And a huge butterfly suplex. Dropkick City. He's got him in a dragon sleeper. Matt's going to break that up. All hell is breaking loose here. Okabayashi takes the DDT from Matt Jackson. Walter's got Nick. Nick Jackson going for another life, but he's going to eat a DDT now. Walter's going to go get Daisuke Sakamoto in there. Misses, uh, misses the Enziguri, Sakamoto now. Yeah. Oh, Sakamoto's gonna eat an Enziguri though. He's calling for Nick Jackson. Yeah. Another Enziguri, down goes Daisuke Sakamoto. He's gonna pick him by the waist now. Step up Enziguri and here we go. Nick Jackson is on a roll for the Young Bucks. Coming off the rope here, here we go. A big Will Perry Bulldog, down goes Sakamoto. Sakamoto is in bad spot, but he's gonna try to fight out of it. Here we go, Nick Jackson, super kick down with Sakamoto. Dice game with a discus elbow. Both are down, but Sakamoto's up first. He's hitting the rope, stops it. Super kick by Nick Jackson, and he's gonna tag his brother, man, and the Young Bucks are trying to get it up here. Bulldog on Sakamoto. Matt Jackson now. 
Place lock. Spin wheel kick there by Nick Jackson, and they are double teaming. Wheelbarrow Bulldog again. Nick Jackson on the apron, cheering his brother on. Matt's going to shoot him in the wrong, wrong corner. He's going to trip him out. Huge drop kick there. Here we go. He's pulling him out of the corner. Daisuke Sakamoto is going to shoulder him right in there. Both men are down. <coughs> Sakamoto is going to get Walter back in the ring now. Here comes our Pro Wrestling Summit heavyweight champion of the world. Matt Jackson is going to fight his way out now. Walter, though. Oh, my God. Here it is. That's that pump handle power bomb that has finished everybody. And it just like that, Walter comes in and finishes things. Thanks for the cheer, bro. Walter, you give him one inch. And when he hits that power, when, <laughs> thanks for the follow, bro. When he hits that pump handle sit out power bomb, it's over. Just like that. This match was going back and forth. Walter was tagged in. Nick Jackson, Matt Jackson was not aware. And he ate it and he went down. He went to sleep. Wow. Just like that, Strong BJ, Yuji Okabayashi, Daisuke Sakamoto, and Walter get the victory. Next week, June 5th, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time, Walter will defend the World Heavyweight Championship of this company right here, the Pro Wrestling Summit, against the Rainmaker, Kazuchika Okada, the Snorlax is in the chat from the Jackal. Young Bucks defending against Sakamoto and Okabayashi. We got Adam Cole, Roderick Strong, and Carl Anderson defending the six-man tag championships against Shima, L. Lindemann, and T-Hawk, the Stronghearts. Yusuke Okada, the new junior champion, will be in action for the title. We have Daisuke Harada and Tadasuke. The other two members of the Rattels will be defending the junior tag titles. And on top of that, Jiro Eicherman, Kuroshio, Naoya Nomura will be taking on Shuji Ishikawa and Suwama, the Violent Giants, in Tag Team Warfare. We have four other matches on top of that for you next week, 10 p.m. Central Standard Time. My God! We will see you next week, week eight of the Summit. Have a good evening.